What's up folks, P58 here with another edition of Is It Real? This week we're talking about Candle Cove. Now Candle Cove was a television show for children with uh, puppets and marionettes. Uh, it aired in the late 60s and early 70s. Now to begin the story it actually starts in the 1760s with a writer named Colin Cochrey. He was uh, a poet and uh, apparently uh, I guess a novelist or a or just a writer, uh, he wrote a short story called uh, The Knickerbocker's Tale. Now, it was unfinished, and uh, I checked his bio, and all I could really discern is that he either disappeared or died. And that's why this short story is never finished. And it actually, it sounds like a pretty cool story. It sounds like a mix between uh, Treasure Island and, uh, what's the book, uh, a little kid he dreams and there's magic and stuff it's kind of like it sounds like a mix between those two stories uh, this guy was also kind of insane now the reason he first started the Knickerbocker Tales because he had a daughter who apparently uh, disappeared you know just vanished poof without a trace and uh, she was never heard from again and as I said uh, his uh, bio is really short it just uh, it said that he went missing or he had died, and it also said he had gone missing, which is why the book was never, uh, or the short story was never finished. Now, it was kind of a letdown because you didn't really get a straight answer because usually uh, you got one or the other, and there's no, it's not both, and the, you know only separated by one sentence. Now, fast forward 200 years later to the 1960s. Uh, in Ironton, Ohio, uh, they announced uh, they were going to create a television show. Uh, it was going to be uh, associated with the University of Ohio, two students. Uh, there's a, I'm going to send links to all the stuff I'm talking about. Uh, two students from the University of, of Ohio, as well as uh, Emerson Grimes, he was a director and executive producer. Uh, they were going to make uh, this puppet show based on that short story. Uh, the Knickerbocker's Tale, but they were going to call it Pirate Place. Uh, basically, it had the names of the same characters. Uh, they were a little different than in the short story, but basically the same characters with the same names. Now, the uh, show was first reviewed in 1968, and it got mixed reviews. Uh, some people thought the uh, pirate or the uh, puppets of the pirates were creepy and morbid and just kind of too realistic looking. You know, uh, I guess anyone who's ever watched, uh, I don't know, like H&R Puff and stuff. I don't know if you're old enough to remember that, whoever's watching this, but it's kind of that level of creepiness. And uh, I, I saw the YouTube video of the lost, supposed lost episode, and some of the puppets are weird. Other ones kind of look silly, but uh, definitely not the level of Huff and stuff. But it's still uh, kind of creepy. The skeleton one was kind of weird. Now... Other people thought the show was great. They applauded it. They said it was going to make, you know, uh, Ohio the uh, face of the nation when it comes to educational television because they thought this show had promise and, uh, you know, it was going to be bigger and better things. Now, the first season aired about nine episodes, and the second season uh, it aired nine, but there was about 12. And uh, now most of those episodes didn't air, and uh, most people didn't notice. Uh, you know, I guess because it was the late 60s, early 70s, you know, something didn't premiere on TV. There was a reason for it. You know, I mean, you couldn't Google it back then. Uh, but there were some people that didn't notice, and they noticed that instead of near airing the uh, 12 episodes or even nine, um, some areas only aired a, a couple, like maybe three or four. And uh, where the story actually begins is in a forum about this uh, TV show, and uh, they talk about. Uh, noticing this one episode at the end of the second season called the screaming episode which is just uh, two minutes of character screaming a little girl crying you know uh, uh, creepy very very creepy and you know unsettling not to the level of Calden 21 but you know still a pretty good story so far and uh, I searched deeper and uh, this screaming episode was a result as uh, the show getting cancelled uh, this uh, this short story, The Knickerbocker Tale, or this uh, Colin Cockery, he had like the Midas touch, you know, everything he touched did not turn to gold, it turned to shit. And it seemed to affect this uh, Emerson Grimes because uh, this show was his baby, he loved it, 
and it, it just failed and he started apparently losing his mind he was talking to the puppets to the sets uh, <laughs> he ripped his hair and his teeth out you know you know pretty graphic uh, you can read more details about each of the characters and the links I'll send you they got a, a, a a whole list of people involved with the show, including the two students from the University of Ohio, uh, Emerson Grimes, and uh, some other people that worked on the set, and they talk about it, uh, how creepy it was uh, when Emerson Grimes was uh, acting nutty, because eventually he did hang himself, and uh, but right before he did, he uh, directed the screaming episode, and uh, he had all the characters, or the, the staff and crew members, uh, scream into a camera, you know, all kind of <laughs> weird shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there was a reason behind that, and they say it was because he was schizophrenic. Believable, I, you know, where I grew up in, in Philly, I've seen a lot of people, you know, just yelling at nobody. So that kind of thing is believable. Now, once I dug as deep as I could, I came to the conclusion that this story is not real. Uh, it was actually started by a very talented writer and cartoonist by the name of Chris Straub. Uh, I'm including a wiki link to his page. You should definitely check it out. Uh, he's got a lot of cool stuff, uh, you know, like comics and uh, like web comics and other stories. Uh, definitely check it out. And I did as much search as I could on the uh, the original short story because that almost sounded real to me. You know, I uh, the, they showed a picture of the book. Of the supposed book that was unfinished, and it, it, it you know, it was a real old-looking book from something that you'd expect to be from the 1700s. Uh, but all my searching, I could not find anything remotely like that story uh, with the characters. That I came across one book. It was uh, it was similarly titled. It was called "The Tale of the First Knickerbocker," and it's just a book about the state of New York or the city of New York. Uh, and that's why it's called Knickerbocker. Why this particular short story was called that, uh, I didn't come across. Uh, from what I understand, the boy is Irish, and uh, he comes across uh, some pirates and befriends them, uh, sort of like in Treasure Island. That's where I got the association of it. I think the boy was Irish in the tale, or the girl, I, I can't remember. But uh, once I got through the, uh, you know, all the, all the search results for uh, the Knickerbocker reference, uh, yeah, there is no short story. Uh, there was no television show. It was all done by a talented writer by the name of uh, Chris Straub. And like I said, I'm going to include that wiki link to him, and you can check out all of his work. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but once again, it, it is not real. All right, well, I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, be a friend and hit the like and subscribe button. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.